Hello, in today's video I'm going to talk about one ingredient to avoid and that's butylated hydroxytoline, BHT for short. This ingredient is a preservative for many dry packaged foods. It's known by several other names, some being butyl hydroxytoline and butyl hydroxytoline. BHT is an artificial lab created chemical that's fat soluble. Its related cousin is butylated hydroxyanisole, BHA for short. BHT is a phenolic chain breaking antioxidant that damages the outer layer of viral cells. In other words, it keeps viruses from multiplying or causing significant damage to the body. So in addition to food, it's also used in medications such as for treating cold sores. But going back to food, it preserves highly processed foods, preventing them from becoming rancid quickly. This is important considering that they may be on the shelf for months at a time. So by preventing oxidative rancidity, BHT improves the quality of food in terms of flavor and appearance. Common foods that contain BHT are dry cereals, potato flakes, chewing gum, snack foods, dehydrated food, preserved meats, even food packaging. Non-food items that contain BHT are cosmetics, personal care products, medications, even rubber and fuels. With all of this known, is BHT safe for long-term consumption? There is some back and forth among the health and food industry professionals over the safety of BHT, which primarily falls on its consumption amounts. However, many studies have shown that long-term consumption of BHT is linked to various diseases and illnesses, such as studies done by the European Safety Authority, which found that rats given BHT developed lung and liver tumors. They also found that BHT was linked to developmental effects and thyroid changes in animals. They concluded that BHT could be endocrine disruptor. And several studies from the 1980s until now found that BHT accumulates in the body over time, being toxic to the lungs, liver, thyroid, and kidneys. But then there are studies which state the opposite, such as one by the National Toxology Program, which fed high levels of BHT to rats and mice, concluding that no carcinogenic results were found. In some studies in the 1990s evaluating BHT consumption in animals found no carcinogenic results, but some found anti-cancer effects. But interestingly enough, some say that BHT had a negative impact on certain parts of the body, such as the lung, liver, thyroid, and kidneys as it accumulated over time. With all of this contradicting information, more studies preferably following humans and their consumption of BHT are needed to confirm this additive's long-term effects on health. And the studies are ongoing. Overall, current studies done on animals have linked BHT to cancer, reproductive toxicity, endocrine disruption, and respiratory irritation, to name a few. Right now, the FDA regards BHT as a safe food additive when consumed in their limited approved amounts. So in low doses, they state that BHT is safe to consume. However, BHT has been banned from food in the UK, Japan, as well as in baby food in the US. So did you consume BHT? With the controversy surrounding BHT, including the fact that it's banned in certain products and areas in the world, I say no. First, BHT is a chemical, lab-created product. It's not natural or found directly in nature, so it doesn't fit the whole food diet. Second, it's only recommended for consumption in low doses and it's known to accumulate in the body over time. So even if you consume it in low doses, eventually that will add up to be a significant amount lingering in your body and affecting it negatively, including BHT linkage to cancer, endocrine disruptions, and other problems. It's not worth consuming products that contain them, especially when there are many healthier alternatives to them. For example, vitamin E is a natural antioxidant preservative replacement for BHT. It's naturally occurring and not linked to any of the health concerns mentioned previously. And the good news is, many brands, including conventional ones, are removing BHT from their products or using vitamin E, tocopherols, as a preservative. Thank you very much for watching. I encourage you to research BHT, including BHA and BHBT, to get a full understanding of what it is, how it's made, and its safety concerns. I hope I provided enough information to give you a solid idea of this ingredient to avoid. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others can be informed of BHT as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.